Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make Hungarian beef goulash. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this beautiful video to the end. And as always, enjoy! Hungarian goulash is a delicious beef stew with a rich Hungarian paprika seasoned broth. This delicious dish is warm and comforting and perfect for this cold weather. When I make Hungarian goulash, I like to add burnt onion in. It gives light smoky taste to the dish and it makes it more rich in color. So get one onion, cut it in half and burn it on a medium high heat without oil for about 20 minutes on each side. While the onion is on the stove, let's work on the other ingredients. Get one parsnip, peel it and cut it into large pieces. Take one carrot, peel it, and cut it into the same size as parsnip. During the chilly times, I like to use root vegetables, such as parsnip, celery root, and turnip. Most of the time when you go to the store and pass by the produce area, you would just skip these root vegetables because you don't know how to use them. But this beef goulash recipe is an ideal dish to use it. And I'll show you how. Take one turnip, peel it. and cut it into large pieces as well. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new tasty and delicious videos. Take one celery root, peel it, first I tried to use the peeler, but it didn't work good, so I decided to use a knife. Cut it into large pieces as well. It's a lot of cutting and prepping for this recipe, but it will be easier for you to cook the dish when everything is ready. Take two Yukon Gold potatoes and cut it into large pieces. Put it into the bowl with cold water, so it doesn't change color. Take one onion, peel it, and dice it small. One red bell pepper, get rid of the seeds and ribs. And dice it medium. Now 
Get two medium tomatoes and cut it into large pieces, but make sure to get rid of the core. Take 4 garlic cloves, smash them with a knife, and chop it. Everything is cut and chopped, and now let's cook it. Preheat the pan to high heat, add some vegetable oil, add carrots, parsnip, turnip, celery root, and let it saute until golden brown in color, approximately 5 minutes. Transfer it into the bowl and put it aside for now. Now let's hear the meat. I got 2 pounds of beef chuck. This cut is not expensive and it's ideal for beef stew. Don't waste the meat and money when you are cooking the stew. You don't need to use filet mignon or any other expensive cut of meat. Dredge the meat in the flour and sear the beef on medium high heat until golden brown in color on both sides. Make sure to sear the beef by batches and don't overcrowd the pot to get the best sear. Beef is seared, transfer it into the sheet pan. Don't wash your pot, add onions. Let it saute for about 3 to 4 minutes. Add garlic, saute for another minute. Add half a cup of dry red wine, let it reduce. Add bell peppers, tomatoes, let it saute for about 6 to 7 minutes. Season it with salt and black pepper. One and a half tablespoons of caraway seeds, one tablespoon of Hungarian paprika. By the way, the link to Hungarian paprika I will include in the video description. Couple bay leaves. Transfer the meat in with accumulated juices. Pour four cups of beef stock. Add burnt onion in. Cover with the lid and cook it for 2 hours on a low heat. 2 hours passed. Transfer the vegetables in. Add potatoes and let it cook for additional 45 minutes. Forty-five minutes passed and my Hungarian beef goulash is ready. At the end of the cooking process I'd like to get a fork and smash a couple of potatoes and vegetables to thicken the goulash naturally. Serve your Hungarian beef goulash over egg noodles or mashed potatoes. Add some chopped parsley on top and enjoy it.